In Turkmenistan, 14-year-old judoka was ordered to throw a fight with another judoka from military school. He refused and won the match. After the match, he was beaten severely and later died in a hospital. His coach also was beaten by unknown group of people. This post received a score of 47,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Match fixing and killing over a show match of 14-year-olds? How fucking petty can you get? Have you looked at images of Turkmenistan in the last few decades? Massive monuments with no people. It's a drained country. Had to go to Ashgabat for work a few years ago and just seeing this all-white marble mecca of a city as an absolute ghost town was probably the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my travels around the world. Then you understand it as you get into detail like how the internet is completely locked down, pictures of the president are everywhere. Doesn't matter if it's a hotel, restaurant, bank. His picture is everywhere. I guess it's what I assume North Korea is like. That being said, it was very clean and nothing really felt run down but I could not wait to get the fuck out of there. Since everyone is interested why I was there lol. Nothing too exciting or secretive. I was a government contractor and I went to work at the American Embassy to upgrade their emergency radio communication system. Did that job for about 13 years all over the world. Got a new job about two years ago after just being so burned out from the travel and my wife hating that I was gone for four to six weeks at a time lol. My question is the same as yours though. Why the hell do we even have an embassy there lol? We have an embassy in every country that we recognize and that recognizes us. Unless relations are incredibly strained. See. Cuba Post Bay of Pigs. And considering America's recognition goes a long way towards getting legitimacy on the world stage, it can be a big controversy for emerging or contested states. In Taiwan, for example, we don't have an embassy to avoid pissing off China. In Taiwan, we have a non-profit staffed by state DPT employees. Interesting. Right. Because we want to maintain relations without being seen to. And of course China knows that we still talk to the Taiwanese government, but it's fine because it doesn't provide them with the legitimacy of a real embassy. And as long as everyone pretends there's nothing there at school and China isn't losing face. Fuck China in Winnie Pooh's face. On some local Turkish media sources, I read that the 14-year-old Rezif to throw a fight against a relative of President Berdi Mukhamedov, so he was beaten to dead. Is that the one who fucks his horse? I believe so. Can anyone explain why a match between high school students was so important? Was this about the military school's reputation? Do powerful people bet on these tournaments? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.